Previously, we talked about events, and we said that events are subsets of the main sample set. For example, if our main sample set is this rectangle, and we refer to as S, um, the event A is this circle, okay? It's a subset of this big, of this bigger set. So it's a part of it. Here we have operations on events. What if we have um, different events in one sample set? For example, we have A and also we have B. We have A and we have B. What does these terms mean? The first one here is A union B. This is not a U. This is a symbol that represents the union of two events. When we say A union B, we mean the area which includes what's inside A and what's inside B. A union B. A and B together. So, uh, A union B is that part of the sample set. A and B together. Then we have A intersect B. A intersects B. By flipping this upside down, this means intersection. So, the parts where A intersects with B. Of course, we mean this area, here, this area. So this is A intersects B. And then we have A negative B, A negative B, and here we mean the part of A which is not included in B. This is like math, when we say 5 negative 2 equals 3, this means that there are three more which are not included in here. There are three things more than this term that are included in the five and not included in the two. So the five is more than the two by three. Here is the same thing. A difference B means that we want the part that's inside A and it's not included in B. Accordingly, we mean this area. We mean this area. So if we say B negative A, B negative A, we will be talking about this part here. That 